All right, so first off, before I start this video, I'm going to give a shout out to three channels, three people, and uh, these were are, have been really great influence uh, for me learning about crypto and learning about trading. One of them is Alessio Rastani, and then another one's from Steve from Crypto Crew University and Jordan from Waters Above. Now, these three have been, for me, very educational because they're very calm. They just look at the charts. They're not bullish, bearish. It, they just kind of analyze the data and kind of give their interp interpretation without all these insane numbers of, you know, $1 million BTC or $100 XRP. So for me, these three have been one of the best technical analysis and crypto channels out there. So make sure you check out those three. Alessio has done a video with Robert Pregner, and he believes that we are going to be crashing soon. And he's also just recently done a video with crypto um, Steve from Crypto Crew University. So definitely check out this video. This is a really interesting one. Alessio is a pro with Elliott Wave. And he believes we're either in phase five, going towards phase five, or we're in phase B. So we're going to be heading down. Right now, he's very neutral. Um, he needs more information to either kind of put his stance on where he believes he is. So I definitely recommend watching this video. So he believes we're either going to be going to an all-time high or... We're just kind of we're just in a sucker's rally or in a bull trap, and we'll be heading down. So if we look at the cryptocurrency market, this is what it roughly would be. So we've already done our Elliott wave one, two, three, four, and now we're going to go five. So this is going to be the next all-time high. So this will likely happen in in 2024 or 2025. Now. Another possibility is that we're in that A and B, C correction. So one, two, three. So right now we would be in phase two or here in phase B. So we already had our all time high. We, you know, we went to our low and now we're recuperated. We are in the phase B, but we will be correcting. So that is a possibility that this year, next year, we won't be going to all-time highs. Now, if you look at Steve's from Crypto Crew University, he's pretty optimistic that we are entering phase two, or we're already completed phase one of the bull, bull run, and we're entering phase two. Now, when we look at Waters Above, now Waters Above is more about astrology, numerology, and even mythology. So what he's recently been saying is that we are in the bull run we are heading up he believes and uh, but we will probably be in a correction so if we look at the 2013 run or the top once we reached the top we started heading back down we recuperated and we entered the golden pocket in the fibonacci replacement and this is where he believes we are at so currently we are heading up we've hit the fib retracement the golden pocket and we will be having a pretty nasty correction so this also has happened in the previous bull run so we've had our top we had our low we went back we t again we topped in a golden pocket and we retraced back down and here we had something unusual you know the black swan event and this dip was an unusual event we should have technically been continuing back up now if we look at what has happened in the past uh, you know few months or in the past few years so what might happen now so we've had our top we go use your use our Fibonacci retracement we go to our bottom and you can see we are going into our golden pocket so if in this case we repeat was was have what has happened in the past uh, we could potentially go to forty eight thousand, maybe a little bit more but then we might have that correction again 
So this is something I'm keeping an eye on. We might just have this event again. So we've gone to our golden pocket and we go down. And just in like in the previous bull run, hit our low, recuperated, hit a, almost the top of our golden pocket and retrace down. So I am looking into this possible area of buying back. So if we do head up, it wouldn't be a bad idea to take some profits. And even the pe the most optimistic people are saying we are getting in the overbought territory. Uh, so taking profits around here wouldn't be a bad idea, whether we have a nasty retrace or not. So I am eyeing currently right now, I have been taking small profits and uh, it is possible that we might hit back down below. So that is what I'm currently looking at in the market. Possible date for this, simply just looking at the lunar cycle. The next uh, new moon will be in um, December 12th. So I am kind of keeping an eye on that date as the possible top from that date a little bit later or a little sooner you know almost we're almost there so that is something i am keeping an eye on eye on i am have my sell orders and i have some buy orders around that thirty-eight thousand and a little lower all right ladies and gentlemen let me know what you guys think and i'll see you in the next video